And now it's time for another St. Louis 7, following our episode on Overtime with Oliver, with the host of Casually Molly. Yes. Hi. <laughs> All right, so here's some questions. You did not go to high school in St. Louis. You were in Cincinnati. Yes. Where was it, and what do you remember? St. Ursula Academy over in East Walnut Hills by downtown Cincinnati. Uh, one of my favorite moments was we we actually had, like, this um, thing where it was uh, – you could do like the ranks. So if you were a blue, you were at like the first class, and then like green was the second class, and then red was the third class. So I was the red person, and we all had. That's the hair color. Yeah. Oh, of shattering. course. Yes, exactly. So our teachers treated the blue people great, and like the green was okay, but the red was, you know, treated the worst. So everybody was ignored. So when lunchtime came, we were sent to like this lunchroom way in the back. So I told all my friends, we're like, we're going to rebel. So we put, like, red bandanas on over our heads. And, like, we wrote Rambo was here. And we, like, went into the lunchroom with all the blue people and made a scene. It was a lot of fun. <laughs> Do you have a favorite event or concert that you've been to in St. Louis? Event that I've been to? Oh, okay. This is going <laughs> to you were be like, of course. But when the new kids on the block came here a long time ago, they came with Nelly and TLC, and so Nelly got the show rolling, and I grew up loving TLC, so it was a very emotional moment when Waterfalls came on. <laughs> and then I was super impressed because New Kids on the Block, like in their 40s, was still dancing and jumping, and I was like, man, I gotta go to the gym. So it was very cool. <laughs> Where'd you have your first slinger? My first slinger? The cheese and uh, chili on top. Oh, that... Skyline? Yeah. yeah. I was like, I didn't know this was a baseball term. I was like, whoa, maybe there's something at the Bush Duty. And like... how did you have it? Did you get the onions and the... Oh, yeah. I'm an onion person, so they call that a four-way. But I had, there's a Skyline that's right up the street from where I grew up in Cincinnati. So I think I was like five, and all my friends were like, we're going to go. And we did. And I remember just being like, this is so good. So it's very addicting. That I'm, I want it all the time now. <laughs> when you go to Ted Drew's, what do you order? Oh, Ted. So here's the problem with that. So I'm not a huge frozen custard person. I know. Everybody's always like, you don't like Ted Drew's. I'm like, I don't know. Maybe during the summer. But they have this kind of strawberry shortcake kind of specialty. And they put strawberry shortcake in it with the ice cream. And it's delicious. So if anybody ever gets it. <laughs> Been in St. Louis long enough to answer the following question. Sure. You encounter 10 stop signs. How many do you roll? Oh, all of them. I got pulled over once and I started crying and the officer was like, I'm just going to let you go. It's <laughs> fine. But yeah, there's a lot of those. When your friends come to visit you in St. Louis, where do you take them? So where do I take them? Ooh. So there's this really good place called the Fountain on Locust and it's, a, it's one of the most photographed restaurants in St. Louis, but they are known for their ice cream martinis and like their cute little ice cream shots. So when my best friend Dana came in from Cincinnati, we went there and it was uh, it was definitely a hot take for everybody. <laughs> Transplant, last question. Mm -hmm. What makes you proud or happy to be living in St. Louis? Um, yeah, absolutely. I think that the community is what makes me proud to be here. Um, I love that there's all this rehab and like rehabilitation of old buildings that could possibly like just be dilapidated and knocked down and rather than just like knocking them down and not preserving them as a landmark St. Louis is like taking these old buildings and making them into hotels or venues and it gives or restaurants and giving the history of what it used to be and how it's grown into what it is now. There you go. Yeah. Good time. <laughs>